Now, as far as adding and subtracting matrices go, adding and subtracting is the easiest thing we'll do. Multiplying you'll hate, but adding and subtracting you should really like, because adding and subtracting is really easy. There's three things you have to know. Two of them are up there. First of all, you can only add or subtract matrices with the same dimensions. So if this one over here is 2 by 2 and this one over here is 7 by 3, I can't add or subtract. They have to be the exact same size. We add or subtract elements in the same relative position. So whatever's in the upper left and whatever's in the upper left over here go together. Okay. And then the third one that's not up there is that the solution matrix, which is what we call the matrix where the answers go, okay, the solution matrix has the same size as the matrices in the problem. So if they're all 3 by 3, then where the answers go also has to be 3 by 3, which is not a big concept, not a big worry at this point. Okay, so let's take a look at example 3. You've got 2047 minus 3116. We always perform a dimension check before we start. As you can see, they have two rows and two columns, both. So where the answers go also has to be a two by two matrix. And again, we just work relative. So upper left, upper left, upper right, upper right. It's easy. Okay. So upper left spot, upper left minus upper left, two minus three. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Okay. Upper right spot, upper right minus upper right, 0 minus 1 is negative 1 again. Okay. Bottom left spot, so that's the bottom left, 4 minus 1. 4 minus 1 happens to be 3. The bottom right spot, <coughs> bottom right minus bottom right, 7 minus 6 is 1. Okay, let's go to example 4. More of the same. Left matrix, 3, 0, 1, 4, 2, negative 4, negative 6, 7, 0. And then we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 0, negative 7, 3, 0. As you can clearly see, they're the same size. They're both 3 by 3 matrices. OK, so read off solutions for me for the top row of numbers. Give me all three numbers that are going to go in the top row. Brian, what are they going to be the top row of numbers? Yes, top row. Oh. Okay. Plus two it makes five. Zero plus four made four. One plus six made seven. Okay, middle row of numbers. Nick. Um, twelve. 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 Uh, twelve. Twelve again. And negative four. And negative four. Good. Four and eight made twelve. Two and ten made twelve. Negative 4 and 0 made negative 4. What part? Five is in the upper left corner. You add the upper left and the upper left. Three plus two, five. The upper right is what's from the upper right. Upper right corner, upper right corner. One plus six. Seven. Nothing else to it. It's just to add. It's not a trick. Okay, bottom row of numbers. Kaylee. Um, negative 14. Try again. Or negative 12. 
Try again. Take what's in the middle. Negative 13, thank you. Continue. 10. 10. And 0. And 0. Good. Negative 6 and negative 7 made negative 13. 7 and 3 made 10. 0 and 0 make 0. Okay, example 5. We've got 2, 0. And we've got 3, 0, 3. And as you can see, there's a subtraction sign in the middle. What's your thought, Kaylee? Is it no solution? Very good, no solution. These are not the same size, and they're different sizes. You can't do anything with them, so it just has to rest at no solution. Okay, example six, three, zero, one, four, ten, eleven. Three, zero, one, four, ten, eleven. Okay, you can see these are the same size. They're both three by one matrices, three rows and one column. Okay, solution. Shelby? 7, 10, and 12. 7, 10, and 12. Good. 3 plus 4 made the 7. 0 plus 10 made the 10. 1 plus 11 made the 12. All right, last one. Very small matrices. 2 and 11, 1 and 4. 2 and 11. 1 and 4, and as you can see, there is subtraction in the middle, so we're subtracting here. They are the same size, so we know we can actually work through this. Solutions. Print. 1 and 7. 1 and 7. Good. There you go. Doesn't get any harder than that today. I never understood that. I never understood that.